In this video, we discuss virtual storage. So what is virtual storage? Well, with ever increasing bandwidth capabilities becoming popular via fiber optics, 4G and 5G, companies and individuals are increasingly turning to using virtual storage instead of local storage on their machine. Often referred to as cloud storage, virtual storage is the concept or idea of storing and retrieving data over the internet in the cloud instead of on a local device. There are many advantages to this. The data can be accessed at any time from any device as long as there's an internet connection. Data can much more easily be shared without the need for removable media and transferring files on USB pens. It becomes much easier to collaborate on files and the storage can be considered to be limitless from the user's point of view. Of course, there are some disadvantages. It can become quite expensive. Typically, you'll be paying for a cloud or virtual storage service. There are popular ones out there but the more capacity you need, the more expensive it tends to become. If your connectivity is poor, access time to your files can be slow. And of course, if you're in a situation or an area where you cannot get an internet connection, it means you now have no access to your files. Remember that although virtual storage is thought of as being data in the cloud, all of your actual data resides somewhere on physical permanent storage media in some remote data warehouse. So virtual storage can also refer to the kind of abstraction or separation of logical storage from the physical storage. So what I mean by that, if we look at this typical example here, I've got a shared drive on a school network and we're looking at it from the point of view of a logged on student. Now the student is perceiving a single storage area and it's neatly structured with files and folders under a single drive, here the T drive. But this is simply a logical abstraction. The actual physical implementation could have the folders and the files associated with data storage across all sorts of different media. It could be on magnetic hard disk, solid state disk, network file servers, cloud storage, and indeed a mixture. It doesn't matter though from the point of view of the user. So having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the benefits and the drawbacks of using virtual storage?